I found this challenge in the wild. If I can beat this, then you're ISAB. So if I don't beat this, does this mean I'm not ISAB? Even though I am ISAB? Really asking the hard-hitting questions here. Uh, so 17 wins in 1k attempts. Got a 163 ouch challenge. 5% cooldown rate. Two towers that you can sell. Seemingly no abilities though, aside from maybe glue and uh, tack and sniper. I found one more ability, like round zero. It's the ground zero, isn't it? No, I can't afford it. Unless my um uh, my bomber ray somehow pops enough balloons to make 250, I don't think so. You don't get you don't get you make pennies in 163, and we're not getting it, sadly. Uh, I think that might be the solution. Make money. Oh, it's IMF loan. At least it looks like it is. Ain't no way. Uh, so what do I do? I collect first, right? And then I do this. And I got it. Have I first tried this challenge? I think I have, guys. I know I did one attempt with Bomb Race, but that, that still counts as... I think it still counts as first try. So, uh, yeah, that, that confirms it. I I, I really am ISAB. G G. Of course ISAB would beat this in one try. Let's do this very generic round 45 challenge. Only three players have beaten it. So we have five towers for this one. Two of which uh, are allowed at a time, and only four thousand dollars to work with. And one life. So you can't remove the objects, first and foremost. Otherwise, I think I would have done a reactor. Let me just see what a reactor does, like, I don't know. Over here, only a 400. It beats rainbows. It won't beat the leads, like, by the time we get there, which is why I could sell. I think it's deflation too, right? Hmm. It's gonna make things a little bit harder, indeed. Let me try bigger globs on strong. I want to see if there's a rainbow spot. Or a glue spot that gets all rainbows. This is a good spot. Beautiful. That's cheaper and better than the the decamo sub. I might need decamo sub for purple sub, so let me sell now, pause. Okay, okay. Camo, there's a sniper. It's not good enough. I don't think this is affordable. But how much is a sub? A decamo. Well, there's actually only a couple camos. I was wondering if maybe a sniper could get them. Albeit, with all the pinks in the way, it's gonna be a little annoying. Oh, it's also two towers. I'm such an idiot. So, how, can I afford this? Ooh, a 110. So, a 110 does six layers of damage, which does one shot purples, right? Yes, if I do the math, that is correct. So, what if I did the following? Just leave the sniper here. I don't want it at the front because it'll pop the rainbow, isn't that? Ruins everything. Also, bruh, my glue spot missed it. Let me just see, though. No, the sniper cannot beat all purples, I don't think. Oh, I have an idea. I think this spot's actually good because we beat the purple. We pop the purples um quickly on this side, and then we can still have some line of sight. I just need to find the right glue spot. This is uh, infinite times worse. Let me mirror the, the position. Maybe that helps at all. I don't know. Sniper. Yep, that's perfect. Left side is better. Watch this. This spot. Oh, I think it's gonna... Wait, I have $2,000. For pinks, I would just do a blade shooter if I have time. Um, it's not good enough. Sniper gets 9 out of 10. Damn. I actually think camp priority is really important here. Otherwise, I think uh, the sniper will attack a rainbow. If one got through, okay, it didn't this time. Alright, take a look here. Uh, let me sell, and let me try randomly, I don't know, Hot Shots 320. That's good, that's good. Now, Sniper, please. 3, 2, 1. Nice. Okay. Now, I think I win. Assuming the 320 attack beats all pinks. The Sniper for the Fortified Leads. And that's a GG. Right? Just gotta make sure the Sniper gets all the Black Balloons. Watching carefully. Yep, nice. Generic. I don't know if I say this challenge was generic. Definitely not generic ground. Or generic subset of towers, but... I like that solution. Fairly solid. This challenge sounds mildly interesting. Uh, let me show ya. Only two people have beaten it. So I don't think I'm actually going to beat it. But I will see how close I get. It's a round 126 challenge. Fast Moabs. Increase the random mob HP. Take three towers. Basically, what's on 126, I think, is the DDTs. Very fast ones. I did some scouring earlier, and I'm pretty sure I found two of the towers. 
the only thing that actually pops DTs that quickly would be to pop them preemptively with a preemptive strike. I think you need Sub Commander, though, to double the damage. Let me just double check. Yep. Single preemptive does not beat it, but we double damage of the strikes if we do this. And you'll see. That's a bit more manageable. Only so we only have we only have one tower to uh, beat those with. That's my uh, my problem. Can I afford a spear the force? Nope. I don't even know the vines would be good enough. But let me try the following. Super monkey, basically an 042, and then I just one shot the ram wave, and I buy I'll buy intel on these two, just to squeeze in some damage. You know what I mean? I could also use first strike. I think doesn't first strike target rams? Let's see. I'll wait to use it before a tech terror. Now? See? It just wiped out a chunk of the surrounds, which is great. Now I'll tech terror last minute before I leak. Let me see. This holds off longer than I expected. How many? Oh, that's the end. Wait, did I just beat a 3% challenge in like two tries? Uh. Okay. One of the more misleading win rates if I've, if I've seen any. You know, we can give this one five minutes. I say five because no one's beaten it. Anyways, round 56, uh, two towers, and there is just a lot of restrictions. Very specific ones. I probably won't solve this in a short amount of time. So I'm gonna just scour and see how close I can get. Basically, uh, rainbows, camel rainbows, and then a Moab that has uh, 3,000 HP. So the ability cooldown rate is 300%. I don't think that's why a tech tier, for example, would work. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to stall the Moab. Not even Glue Gunner can, you know, be used as Moab Glue. And interestingly enough, the uh, the Moab is much faster than it exits before the Rainbows do. I see though, no ability. They did change the Eagle recently, I remember. Look at this. The Beast at max, the Golden Eagle can grab the lowest tiers of Moab, but you need... Well, there's only one Beast Handler. This might sound out of left field, but Glaive Lord, we can sell for zero dollars also. Glaive Lord does a uh, DOT. I don't think the track is long enough to do 3,000, but we can always see. Like, this is the closest so far. Look, it's done damage. Approximately 30% of the HP, I would guess. But there's nothing to fill the last 70% um, with, with all these... Good mob options ban, like Sticky Bomb, stalling like this, the Sniper. Oh, I also had this idea. This sounds like a pretty big brain play, but I doubt it works. But what if we try to time the Balloon Solver, splattering the Acid Pools, right when the mob is on top of the Rainbows, and then we get maximum mob, da mob damage on it. Unfortunately, it's not enough to do 3,000, pretty sure. But you can always hope, you know, like now... Doesn't even make a dent, even if I bought it earlier, I don't think. Rip. By the way, I put Glaive Lord up here because uh, it's the DOT that you want to. It doesn't matter if it's in the better spot. You just want to attack immediately uh, this extra... Overdrive will help us do 69 damage. Nice, but nope. We actually got to the 40% mark. I saw the second damage phase. Sentry Champion. I highly doubt it. Each Explosion does, what, 70 damage? I'll sell now, and uh, here we go. Yep. <laughs> Less damage than Glaive Lord. It is true that if you turn... Hypothetically, if you turn all the rainbows to, like, pink balloons or lower, that maximizes the amount of children. And then your balloon solver can, can spawn, like, eight times more acid. Because before before how the acid worked was that it actually did, like... It actually did give acid pools for the children. But then they, they nerfed it because that caused too much lag. So I guess the way would be to turn all the rainbows into reds. Or something. Some tower... Uh, what does this do? Yellows, but it's too slow. Or is it? I think yellows... You know, no, yellows are way too fast, I think. <laughs> way too fast. We can try Count Priority and start with it immediately. Let's go again. Uh, I'm actually popping the... Um, uh, no, there's too many. It's shooting too fast with Jungle Drums. Maybe I don't get Jungle Drums. Because I'm losing, like, an Aspo every time I hit, I hit a, a yellow here. So there is money for this. Look. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, we did like... We did more damage this time. Releasing more children into the world is key. Balloon children. 
So it's still it's still hitting some random yellows here. That's not good. I might need to min max this challenge. Also, how long do the Aspos last? I am curious. I used all tiers. See, I'm missing some back here. This is this is the problem. I need the mob to hit these two. I'll try to see if earlier works. I don't know. I'm banking that the acid pools last a very long time. Now. We got almost all the acid pools. Oh, that's actually pretty close. That's 80% of the damage done. I think what I would do also is if the mob pops late, I should put the glue in a range where it would be able to touch the rams so I can pop those two. So I, I like this spot. We'll get range with the village later. And yes, yeah, so one thing I can do is I, I can start with 0 1 2. Start slow. And then save. Uh, buy this now. So I save some yellows. Nope, I I had I saw one, three, sh four shots. Four shots, bad, that's bad. Oh no, here's the problem. If we put in this, or if we do it too early, some of the yellows here uh, eat up the puddles, so it has to be, like, kind of perfect. I just realized that crossbinding does matter for my solver. Do I want pierce on the puddle, or do I want longer duration? I'm pretty sure I, I would want the 520, because then the yellows eating up the other puddles will uh, be saved. But at the same time, some of them might time out if I do it too early. Decisions, decisions. I'll just keep trial and erroring, I think, for now. Tears do matter, so I guess maybe 501. I think we're allowed some leeway. So, there. And when. Yeah, we can just drop it early because uh, they last a long time, remember? I still miss some. That sucks. Nah, my first. That, that, that attempt, like, a couple attempts ago was the closest so far. The trial and error ring continues, I guess. Go, go, go. Last? Oh, it doesn't reach. I was so close to getting those yellows to hit. But if I injured a bit to the left, then I can spawn those. Alright, again. I got one extra shot, that's fine. Now? And then last turn for these yellows here, watch this. I maximized, I maximized almost every single yellow. Yet somehow that was worse. Maybe the Pierce really did matter that that time. We can go back to 5-2-0. I think it still is better to wait so that the first um, rainbow is not overly far. I'll wait till that specific bend. Okay, this is perfect. Now I just got to find the right position. Uh, we'll buy this now. Last. Come on. That's a good amount of puddles, I'd say. I want that. I want to say it's closest. Look at the. We got to look at the damage to see how close we are. 40, 80. I want to say is my closest. And out of that 4,000, the sniper did 600. So, 3,400. Okay, if I did the math, then I'm only 200 damage short. That's pretty close. That's equivalent to like 10 puddles. How do I get 10 more green puddles to reach? I will once again try this spot. All right. Perfect, perfect. I feel like I've said that 10 times. But I mean it, I mean it, I mean it. Okay, we're only missing a couple puddles there. Uh, uh. New high, 4174. That's actually less than 100 damage off. I don't know if this is going to work, but let me try on last. So that I can target the, uh, what do you call it? The yellows earlier. And then less of the yellows that I missed, I remember from the curve. Less of those yellows will uh, just be eaten up. They'll actually be used. But I gotta switch to first to get the, get the yellows there, so... Bit of micro evolve might not be necessary, but for this solution I'm doing, then probably. So now, and then first to catch these. See, not a lot was wasted, and it popped. And I don't have range, but hey, it's closer. We're very close now. It might just be a matter of buying the solver earlier because I didn't see any of the uh, the puddles time out. All right, this is the run for real. This is it, folks. This is it. This is it. All right, early, early. Now. And then first. Too early, maybe? I don't know. Boy, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice challenge. It's kind of crazy how, like, sometimes you think. <laughs> how can a possible challenge... Or when you first start a challenge, how can it possibly be done? But then you get that idea.